Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. Please keep on supporting us and please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I will greatly appreciate. And you can find us on social media. We're called Funny and Jesse. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we actually put out. Uh, so today I'm going to be reacting to Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. I feel like I've reacted to this But then my memory could be playing me so I'm reacting to it again because I just don't feel like this is on our channel But anyway, so that's what I'm going to be reacting to A big shout out to people that give us stuff to react to you guys are the best. Please 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 continue doing that So without wasting time, let's get into the video Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition. But my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify or what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a Muslim. I prove this to you. The brother said now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place. He is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million suns can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now, if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36, that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the Last Supper. So, after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room, and his disciples are there. Ten of them. Ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum. Same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, Salam Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit when he didn't, didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariyun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost, you know, that his spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay people talking that now he's dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay people talking because Mark chapter 14 verse 50 he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus all his disciples forsook him and fled all so I'm asking does all mean all in your language you English man he said yes so they were not there all the knowledge from what they heard so on hearsay knowledge if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days you expect him to be stinking in his grave am I right after three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook. 
a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he is not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadayya wa rijalayya. He says, Behold my hands and my feet. Inni ana huwa. I am the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? Inni, most certainly I, ana huwa. Husuni wanzuru. Say, Handle me and see. For a spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened man? We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking. He says, Have you got here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broil fish and a honeycomb and he took it and he ate in the very sight to prove what? There is a ghost, he's a spook, he's a spirit. What is he proving? I'm a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, look, he is. He said, he is not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing. Amazing sense of logic, reasoning. The man is telling you, I am not. You say, he is. Jesus says, I am not God. I am a servant of God. You say, no, he is God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yom al Qiyamah. They say, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. You say, no, he can do everything. I say, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I am the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay. A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said, he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yomul Kiyama, everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he is not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lies jiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present Um, I love I mean that um, answer of course the question is always good I enjoy people that ask questions especially where they're not clear the fact that he says this is only thing uh, standing in between him and Islam I think he's on to something because there's always that one thing that's stopping you from taking that one step that you wish to take you know uh, but back to what Amir was saying is we really are good at misinterpreting something because um, so I was looking at the comments underneath the videos and I remember I was saying if if Christians some I'm using a different example today if Christians can question the Muslims then Muslims should also question uh, Christian beliefs, you know, and someone took it upon themselves Upon themselves to misinterpret me and say I'm picking on one side. No, I never do that in my videos unless otherwise But that's what I'm trying to say here. You people You yourself, I myself sometimes depending on the mindset that we've come to 
come with to whatever stuff is going on is sometimes the mindset that um hinders us from fully understanding someone so if i say i'm ha i'm enjoying my cold water why should someone misinterpret that and say it was room temperature water that funny was drinking when she was saying um saying whatever she's saying right now reacting to a video uh that's something i've realized that's just our nature not everyone's nature and it's not all of us that do that all the time but we find ourselves doing that every now and then someone tells you he's not a spirit you choose to say he's a spirit then you're playing yourself because now you've created a narrative on your own because you want it to be that and not what the person is telling you and that's what uh, is going to be our downfall down really otherwise i'd love to believe that jesus was in the spirit as he came back from the tomb or the cross or whatever it is i don't think jesus was a because i would think it's a ghost i wouldn't even be interested in listening to what jesus would have to say i don't know about you guys uh if this was a situation what would you guys have done at that period in time would you have believed he was a spirit a ghost or just him in his human flesh let me know what you think if there's anything you want me to react to drop the link or the name down below i will do it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video